In this video, I'll show you how to correctly set your Clack WS1TC three button valve for use on a water softener for you and your family. If you're looking for step-by-step -step programming recommendations for your Clack WS1TC three button water softener, which by the way is sometimes called an EI or CI, then this video is for you. Unfortunately, the three button version of the Clack valve is difficult to set up, not overly efficient when used for a water softener. So using the correct settings is crucial. By the end of this video, you'll know what settings you'll need and how to change them on your water softener to maximize efficiency. Also, I highly suggest you watch the video to the right to the the end just because we've got a great tip on how to easily modify your clack water softener to make it twice as efficient. By the way, if you're not 100% sure how a water softener works, I definitely suggest you check out this video. I'll add a link to it in the description below. Because this valve can be used for a number of different applications, choosing the correct program is critical. You can see all the options in the regeneration cycles and times for different programs chart. For a water softener, you would use any of the programs P0 to P6 for the correct cycle times. From there, generally speaking, P2 would be the default. P5 uses the least amount of water, but P3 would be recommended if your water softener is also being used to remove iron and manganese from your water. Before you actually start the setup, you'll need to do some calculations. This is one of the drawbacks of the TC version of the clack valve because it doesn't meter your water usage to decide how often it needs to regenerate. You need to calculate that frequency and set it up correctly yourself. First, we're going to calculate the hardness in GPG, grains per gallon. In this example, it's 12 grains per gallon. Second, multiply the iron in parts per million by four. Again, in this example, 1.5 times four equals six. Third, we're gonna multiply the manganese in parts per million by six. Example, 0.5 times six equals three. Now that we have that, we total up one through three to get the compensated hardness. In this example, it's 12 plus six plus three equals 21. Next, we're gonna calculate the usable capacity. First, the size of the water softener, 45,000 grains. Second, multiply this by 0.8, and in this example, we're taking 45,000 times 0.8, which equals 36,000. Now we're gonna calculate the grains used per day. First, we take the compensated hardness, example 21. Next, we're gonna times the number of people in your household. In this case, we'll use the number five. Three, we're gonna multiply that times the gallons of water used per person per day, which equals 75. You'll get 21 times five times 75, which equals 7,875 grains per day. Now we're gonna calculate the days between regenerations. First, we look at the usable capacity, which in this case is 36,000. Second, we're gonna divide by the grains used per day, 7,875. Third, we're gonna take the 36,000 divided by the 7,875, which equals 4.57 days. We're gonna round that down to four days of capacity. Note, the maximum amount of days between regenerations is 14 days. Now we're gonna calculate the amount of salt needed for the regenerations. First, we're gonna look at the water softener size. Again, 36,000 grains. Next, we're gonna divide that by 10,000, the amount of grains regenerated for every three pounds of salt, which equals 3.6. Third, we're gonna multiply it by three to get the salt required for 36,000 grains, which equals 10.8. So now we know we need 10.8 pounds of salt for every new regeneration. Next, we're gonna calculate the minutes of brine fill. First, the amount of salt used per regeneration equals 10.8 pounds. Two, for each minute of water added to the brine tank, half a gallon of water is added to the brine tank. Three, with salt, this equates to approximately one and a half pounds of salt per minute of fill. Three, fill time needs to be 10.8 pounds of salt divided by 1.5 pounds per minute, which equals 7.2 minutes of fill. To program the unit, we're gonna start from the home or the service mode. Press the set hour and up button simultaneously for three seconds and release. Then we're gonna do it one more time. Two, choose the desired program by pressing the up and down buttons. In this case, we would set the program to P3 because we have iron and manganese in our water in addition to the hardness. Since we use a program that's between P0 and P6, we need to enter the minutes of water fill going into the brine tank into the programming. You wanna make sure that you have the correct concentration of brine, which means you'll adjust the amount of salt in the program by pressing the up and down buttons. For each minute of fill, half a gallon of water is added to the brine tank. With salt, 
salt. This equates to approximately 1.5 pounds of salt per minute of fill. So for this example, we would set the minutes as 13.5 pounds of salt divided by 1.5 salt per minute, which equals nine minutes of fill. That's where we have that set. Four, use the up or down buttons to switch between the one through 99 days between re regeneration or the seven day regeneration. In this, for this example, we'll set it to the one through 99. In this setting, you can toggle it between a 12 hour or 24 hour timing. That's your choice. From the normal mode, press the set hour and up button simultaneously for three seconds and release. Set the clock to the hour the regeneration should occur by using the up and down buttons, which would be at the time that very little water is used in the home, typically 2 a.m. An arrow points to the p.m. after 12. Press set hour. Next, we'll set the number of days between regenerations. For this example, it would be four. Press the set hour to exit the installer displays and settings. To set the time of day, we're just going to hold the set hour button until it blinks. Then you can use the up and down arrows to set the time. Hit set and then you're back to the original screen. To initiate a manual regeneration at the preset delayed regeneration time, simultaneously press the up and down buttons together and then release. The arrow will point to the word regen if a regeneration is expected tonight. To cancel the regeneration, simultaneously press the up and down arrows and release. To initiate a manual regeneration immediately, simultaneously press the up and down buttons together for three seconds. The system will begin to regenerate immediately. The request cannot be canceled, but you can press the down button to fast forward through each cycle once the cycle has begun. Here's a pro tip. We always suggest that you plug all of your water filtration equipment into a surge suppressor like this one. That way, if you have voltage fluctuations from your electrical supply, the surge suppressor will prevent damage from your circuit board. By the way, if you're looking for a more efficient water softener, I highly suggest you check out our websites, waterestore.com in the US and waterestore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. I'll put some links below. You can also click here for your next video on how to upgrade your marginally efficient three button clack WS1 TC valve water softener into a five button for maximum efficiency to save you and your family money. We'll see you there.